Today I want to talk to you guys about mites. So mites is a common problem everybody seems to have. If you haven't had them, there's a good chance that you will have them. You might be one of the lucky few that never get them, but if you watch this video all the way through, you'll come up with a good regimen so that you never get mites. So let's jump right in. When I go to shows, I always worry about mites there because that's the one area that I'm exposed. So first thing I do is prevent a mite. This I'll spray on all my tablecloths, all over my whole booth, everything. And it's actually, it's the best, but it's like $20 a can. So if you have any arachnids, anything like that, you see me at a show, you might not want to come. Um, that's another thing. If you're spraying your reptile area and you have bugs, whether it be spiders or um, any kind of like praying mantis, anything like that, you want to check first. Make sure you have good separation because this will kill them. So when I come back from a show, I use this uh, natural chemistry. It's a reptile spray. So usually I'll come back and I'll give the animals a quick rinse off and then I go ahead and dry them, spray that. Now make sure, wear gloves anytime you're using this stuff. First time I had mites, I freaked out and I got some of this stuff and I did over a hundred snakes and I swear to God, after over a week, if my hands got wet, I could still rub them together and they'd suds up looked waxy everything so yeah don't don't be dumb like me wear gloves so after that dries because I'll, I'll do a light thin coat and i'll put them in a tub and just let them dry what that does usually is if there are any mites it suffocates them so get them out of that rinse them off warm water and then i'll usually i'll have a tub waiting for them if i suspect anything and this is the rid I know Walmart sells their brand as Equate. I don't know if Target or anywhere else has them. But it's the same ingredient, Plamitherin. That's what Preventamite uses. But this can is about four bucks, five bucks. And the Equate is even cheaper than that, probably three or four. So just a little bit less dose of the Plamitherin. But I'll spray an entire tub with this. And usually I'll put in just a, a paper towel and no water and I'll leave them for 24 hours. After 24 hours, you can give them the water back. If you see any mites on the paper towels, then you start doing a full mite regimen. If not, then it's pretty safe to say they don't have mites. That doesn't mean you just whatever. You still have a good mite uh, procedure that you use throughout the year. So for me, there's this is ivermectin. And I also have plamitherin, but my plamitherin stays in my quarantine area. So that, that's another really good point is nothing comes in my building until it's gone through quarantine. Everything in my quarantine gets treated for mites. So anyone that saw just recently, like a couple weeks ago, I posted a picture of a, a gorgeous animal I got from Rick Farrow. And... It was a super pastel Mojave banana hypo clown. And I took a picture of it on the hood of my car because I wasn't bringing it into my building to put into a light box. I will. The snake is gorgeous. You guys will see pictures of it soon after it clears quarantine. Um, definitely quarantine. And I see a lot of people do all their box openings in their snake rooms. Why quarantine if you're going to open the box in your snake room? Open your box somewhere else, wherever your quarantine area is, do it all there. I understand we get excited and we want to show the world what we just got, but at what price do you want to pay for that? So, okay, so the ivermectin and the plamitherin, I will in the description leave the, uh, the mixing quantities to, to make that. Usually it's about a gallon you'll make and put it in a spray bottle. Now you can get these at any local feed store usually has them. So 
look around. If not, you can get them on the internet. I believe Amazon has it and will ship it out to you. So it's the same exact stuff that all these other chemical companies use, like the Preventamite, Pam. So you're getting good quality stuff. You're just not paying for it. You're going to mix it yourself. So what I do, I have my spray bottles, and every time I change bedding, I'll spray it down, a light coat with it, and I just don't give water for 24 hours. Then I'll go ahead and I'll spray the fronts of the all the racks. I'll spray the floor, spray the whole area. And, and I'll do that every couple weeks. And that has a really good barrier. If I go to a pet store or I go somewhere and a mite gets on me, it's never made it through all the, the plamethrin or ivermectin I have all over the floors, on the racks, everywhere. So uh, another one people use is no pest strips. You can use those. Those work really well too. Uh, I do have a lot of those. Usually I use those more for the little flies than the mites, but they, they work for both. So no matter what, just remember mites are common. You, you don't need to go out and freak out because you have them and then figure out where you got them and start bashing the person. Like I say, they're, it's just like fleas on the dog. So if you're going to crucify the guy that has fleas on their dog, then I guess you can crucify the person that has snake mites. But the big thing is, is being a responsible keeper will eliminate them and you'll never have to worry about it. Hope you enjoyed this, and I'll be sure to share more soon. Thank you.